Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20, climbing the ladder, our journeyman save. And this is episode 11. Um, yeah, that that's not misinformation here. Uh, we have been in a slide of form uh, and failing to find the goal. And that's troubling after scoring a minimum of two goals in every match this season. We've now been clean sheeted three in a row. Uh, we did win against St. Pauli 2 0. Arturo and Luis Navarro got goals. Uh, you remember last episode, I told you guys I was going to go on to YouTube and there was uh, this uh, Marcelo Bielsa tactic. We might try it today just for shits and giggles, if nothing else, because that was annoying as hell. There we go. All right, I'm back in business. Um, so I did, I did find the tactic. I did get it and uh, set it up. Uh, so we used it against St. Pauli. Hmm. Granted, we're not up to snuff on the tactic yet. Uh, Erdingen, we beat uh, Erdingen, er, Erdingen, something like that, 4 Uh We went back to the asymmetrical 4-4-2 that we've been playing, 4-4, yeah. Uh, Arturo weird Arturo scored on a penalty Nico Schroeder found the goal again Norbert Roos and Jan Urban so our center back and our number 10 both with goals as well uh energy coat bus uh nil nil draw pretty evenly matched we played our asymmetrical there as well uh Augsburg we played our regular format and lost one nil and you know we outshot them uh, did not have the possession and then Essen, we played the new tactic and lost 2-0. So, uh, anyway, let's take a look at that tactic real quick. So this is the one we've been playing, right? So here is the uh, Leeds, Bielsa Leeds tactic. There are two of them, and I chose this one. I went this direction because two reasons. One, it's playing a little bit deeper. Instead of very high, it's just higher. And it also plays with a slightly lower tempo. And I think we need that for just, you know, the level of player that we've got. Uh, so anyway, that's going on. I would like to use turn off that offsides trap, but we're not we're not conceding a ton of goals with it. Uh, but we are we are having issues with our possession. You know what? I may turn it off anyway just to see what that does. I don't like playing the offsides trap. I know a lot of times it is OP, but yeah, I just don't care for it. All right. So anyway, that's the tactic. Uh, we are susceptible deep in the corners. Uh, these guys are set to defend wide, so they do slide out like to the edge of the box uh, for defense purposes, and then a Turo collapses in. And the wingbacks are coming all the way back when they can. So uh, they are they are playing uh, in those areas. But I think we're going to stick with this tactic. So what do I want to do today? Because I am a little concerned. Let's dial back the tempo. Uh, let's Let's stay with that. And then here, we've already got that turned off. All right, I think we're good there. Anyway, all right, so where does that put us competition-wise? Well, the two losses in the draw have given us one point out of nine. And now we are on 22 points, four points off the pace of Ingolstadt, who we play today. <sighs> You know, I could be disappointed, but, you know, and, and to some extent I am, but we knew this was coming. We knew we were not that good yet. So, you know, as long as we finish somewhere in the seven to nine range, I think I'll still be happy this year. You know, we just have a lot of building that we need to do on the club. And then, of course, we have Borussia Dortmund around the corner. But anyway, let's get into it today. Uh, we are at home. We are underdogs. And I am going to drop back to balanced for this as well. 
DiPietro, we got an email that he has not scored in like seven matches. So I'm really glad that we picked up uh, a few other striker options in the offseason. Uh, of course, we're going up against our former keeper, Drabond, who we just sold. All right, we're going to ask him to get creative. And they are in the black. Oh, off the woodwork. We got a little lucky there. And it was coming right back in. Arturo on an early yellow. Roos picks up a yellow. Our center backs are uh, really getting lit up back there. So let's tell him to turn off Get Stuck In. Two early yellow cards. Uh, not sh Okay, so it was a foul on them. We've got a shot from out top. Oh, and he bent it wide. Drabond didn't even move. I think he was going to let that one go in for us. We couldn't hit the target, though. All right, more yellow cards starting to pile up today. All right, they play that one deep. All right, Drabond. Come on, come on, screw up. Kick it to us. Come on. You know you want to. All right, and we're coming right back up. That was poor. Not good at all. Oh, look at that ball movement. Look at the ball movement. What a save, McDade. Whoo! What a save. All right, get creative again. Crossed out. Le Petre. Oh, blocked. Oh, he was wide open for that shot. Oh, that was unlucky, and he, may, he makes up for it. That was a brilliant shot near post. And he just caught Drabond flat-footed. I don't think he knew to expect that shot. That was a nice recovery. Headed out. And he just picked it up. Yeah, this defender went too far inside. Just opened up a lane for him to shoot. Yes. Yes. We will take that. And we will take that 1-0 lead into the half. Very reassuring. Did well. We do have a few things to address here. And you know what that is. If you've watched my channel, I do that with yellow cards every halftime. And Urban. Leg injury. All right. Gilly? I suppose. Yeah, we can do that. Hopefully that's not too bad big of an injury he's been pretty solid for us uh let's praise a little bit Arturo goes deep oh pounce on it pounce on it oh my god <laughs> he missed he missed the open netter oh my god oh Drabon must be his best friend in real life because he just didn't want to make him look bad oh that was horrible he was around him. He just had to make one touch and he would have had an empty net or he had all day to make that play. Oh, God. Oh, my God. How did he miss that? All right, head it out. Push out, push out. Good block. Vogler's there. Uh, I guess Vogler knocked it out, actually. That, that was horrible. Yeah, I'm thinking Vogler's a guy we're going to have to look to. Oh, look at that drop pass. That was nice. They send that high. Good. All right. Everybody's playing okay. Ooh. Drabond couldn't play that because it was a pass back. Santana. Oh, he skips over the tackle. 
Uh, surprise, that wasn't a red card. And, oh, we got lucky with a block in there. All right, hold on. Let's, all right. Gilly, Gilly's on a, oh, geez. I am so scared about, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, let's stay on feet. Let's do that. Don't go to the ground. I'm liking that. All right. Hopefully that'll, you know, keep us from maybe picking up a red card here. They have got some good ball movement going on. A oh, good stab away by Galliard. Navarro in space, brings it up to midfield, plays it over the top. Was he offsides? And Hill misses another one. He was not offsides, and he missed another sitter. Uh, all right, you know what? I, re I really think Hill is, is his best buddy. All right. Um, DiPietro or Bach. Composure, decisions. I'm going to go with Bach. I'm pulling Hill, making that call. And you know what? The Petre Rue Roos. Let's bring, uh, I think I want Stein. Yeah, let's, let's do that. All right. So that's all of our subs. Henry from range sends that wide of the mark. Let's praise. Not good. I'd rather you not do that. All right, that's a good ball out wide to Gall Galliard. He dribbles around one. Lays it off to Navarro. Oh, look at that ball in. And Bach slots it home. That, oh, come on. Offsides? No, that was a brilliant. Oh, no. Bullshit. Bullshit. No, he had his not offsides. Just because your beard hair is sticking past the guy, that is not an offsides. I am sorry. That's horrible. I think since, you know, I think that technology could be a good thing, but I think officiating has really gotten poor with the introduction of VAR. That's just my opinion. All right. Uh, into the box. Vogler. Uh, near post, Kodorowski. And that is a beautiful, beautiful place for his first goal of the season. They did not give it to him. Why? No, that's bullshit. Oh, wait, the second goal before was offside. So that is a second goal. Yes. All right. Good. Good. All right. Uh, let's praise them again. They're fired up. This is going to be a big win, boys. This is a big win. The fact that we were able to not get a yellow card, uh, another yellow, that whole match. Oh, eight yellow cards. That's... <laughs> 21 fouls. Pretty, pretty happy there. Excellent efforts. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. All right, that moves us up into second position. 25 points, and we are only one behind Ingolstadt. That's nice. All right, three to five weeks for our number 10. Oh, that's not good. All right, that was a brilliant goal. So we are going to, uh, yep, we're going to praise him for that. We'll be back in three days for the next match. 
All right, we are back for the Borussia Dortmund game. I think we're going to stick with this. All right, Laparette Rouye. I think he's a good number 10 option. That's going to let Abzalov come in, who has the great crossing and passing skill. So he's not a downgrade out wide by any stretch of the imagination. I am feeling it. Uh, we're not playing against Draban, so I fully expect Hill to score a brace uh, that he should have had last match. Um, I, ha I did have a talk with him about letting personal friendships uh, interfere with your performance. And, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> no, actually, you're not you're not able to do that. But uh, I would have had it been uh, real life. I would have been, dude, I understand he's your friend, but come on. You know, we, we, we pay your salary to score goals. And he, they pay his salary to stop goals. So, all right, we get the first shot. All right, we're on equal footing here. They're in a 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. All right, we want to uh, demand more. All right, they're focused. All right, Vogler. Hill. All right, that's headed out. Navarro controls it. I don't know why that popped up. Oh, good move by Navarro. Poor cross. <laughs> we are on the counter, and we are getting out played and i think that might have been an advantage possibly and yes that counter attack really stuck the knife in us yeah i'm thinking there was a trip if Nav is navarro going to get a card after this he did not okay well uh, show some passion. Try to fire up the whole team here. All right, we are not. Interesting. All right, let's uh, let's see what we think about all this. All right, I think we're going to turn off pass into space. Let's condense lines just a little bit. I'm going to take off, get stuck in. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's ask for some creativity. All right, we have a possible injury. Ow. That's not a spot that we can really afford anything. I don't think well we have Di Pietro out there oh we do have Rubio Rubio's back he he needs match fitness he should be able to play 30 minutes and he was our starter so let's go there and I think Hill is struggling again so let's bring uh, let's bring Bach on for him Let's encourage them. All right, they're composed. Come on, fellas. Demand more. All right, we got another possible injury here in Galliard. Knee injury. Ouch. All right, he is a left back. All right, let's put uh, let's bring Casper in. Yep, we'll do that. Again, I'm not really gonna be surprised losing this match. We still have a chance, but oh, there we go. Jump on! Oh my God, if he would have been a little higher up, he might have been able to pounce on that. Hmm. We are set to mark tighter. All 
right, there's a long shot. Come on, boys. Uh, let's let's go attacking. Should have done that five or ten minutes ago. All right, well, they dominated the match. We actually did good, I think, just to be in it that long. So not, I'm going to say it was an excellent match. I mean, you know, we, we were, you know, we were just outclassed. Wobbly. Okay, that's, that's an odd adjective. Uh, we were only expected to reach the second round. Twisted knee, only three to four days. One to three days on the hamstring, so that's good. We pick up a half a million dollars. The board's happy. Nine hours of soccer without finding the net. Bach is five hours. And then De Pietro is however many hours he was at. So yeah, none of our strikers are scoring. Schroeder's off the off the mark uh, with his goals, so that's troubling. Uh, Got to start finding the goals, man. The goals. That's a that's a lot of games without a goal. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Mains will be a big game. I guess we come back for, do I come back right now for Schalke? Maybe? Because I don't think I want, I mean, if we come back for the final two, don't really want to come back for back-to-back. -back. We want to maybe come back for Ingolstadt and Mainz, especially if we're in the hunt for top of the table, which I don't think we will be, but that would be a place I would suspect to come back. So we kind of have to watch Schalke, don't we? I think we do. I think we do. All right, so we'll come back for Schalke and Magdeburg. Or Erzgeburg. Erzgeburg. Um, definitely Schalke. I'm thinking Schalke and Mar Mar Magdeburg. Let's do that. Mainz and uh, Erzgeburg off camera. And uh, we'll see you guys next episode. Hey, please hit that like button for me. And, uh, you know, the more likes, the more people get the opportunity to see my stuff. And, you know, that's what it's all about is trying to get people exposed to my channel. Thanks for those of you that are here. Thanks for checking it out. Subscribe as well. And if you want notifications on daily uploads, hit that little ding dong bell up there by the subscribe button. And we will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.